Guys, it's Fonzie with DipYourCar.com. This is a Dipping Industry Dipcast podcast episode number 32. Mm -hmm. The day you forget to put these on the the number on the show sheet is the day I freeze and have (laughs) nothing left to say. You you freeze every week during Uh, that time anyway. uh, Episode number dot 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 32. Well, yeah, it's right there. (laughs) Of course, it's Fonzie from DipYourCar.com. With me, as always, is Adam, our sound engineer over in the corner, Dan, hydrating, getting prepared as usual, waving, <laughs> even though there's no camera pointing at him. But that's okay. What we're going to do at some episode down the line is get a camera, put it like behind that old gallon. You just wanted everybody to focus to be here. No, no. Put it on them. Not let him know we're recording during that episode. And then while we're editing, we can splice the cuts of him. Right. And you can see him like playing Candy, Candy Crush <laughs> and tweaking dials on sound, but nobody hearing any differences. Um, There's no tweaking. Going not on. at all. Oh, there so, is. That, that's like the uh, the make-believe like kitchen that you give kids is like, <laughs> so they can pretend they're cooking. Like Those are those dials are all Easy fake. Bake they're not even dials. plugged in. <laughs> right. None of those equalizers are plugged in. <laughs> Uh, so we've got an interesting show. Um, we're going to kind of move quickly through this one. It's kind of like a chatterbox episode. Mm-hmm. I'm going to call it that I wasn't because I that. think it fits in that category. So for this chatterbox episode, meaning we're going to move through topics pretty quickly, swiftly, if you will. Mm-hmm. And why don't you fill us in on some of that stuff? All right. So we're going to talk a little bit about a new function that we added to the website that will help out a lot of people. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about a a video that we, a couple videos that we did recently. We're going to talk about our new setup with videos. We're going to give out a DYC quick tip of the week, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, boom. And uh, last but not least, showcase shoutouts. Now, the first thing that we're going to cover is the essentially the new um, feature yeah. or category yeah. or subcategory of products that you're going to find in DipYourCar.com. Now, obviously, most of our fans, especially if you're watching this video, know that the Dip Your Car YouTube channel has been the strongest. Um, it's been the strongest avenue for us to connect with people to get the product out there. The right. videos have been essentially what put Dip Your Car in a position to grow because you're taking this product that nobody's ever heard of, and you're putting it in front of people through these videos mm-hmm. and saying. You know, giving them the confidence to say, I could totally do that on my car. Right. Um, the The problem is uh, there was a little bit m- too much of a bridge between somebody who's never used um, the product before. And again, this product that we're going to talk about, this new feature, is not specific to a common user. Uh, this right. is really to somebody who's really a new, new to the product. A new dipper. Absolutely. So you're watching the, the Triton Porsche video, for example. And you're saying to yourself, geez, I would love to do that to my car. Mm-hmm. Well, you click a link and it brings you and plops you right down on the Dip Your Car homepage. Well, then it's up to that person to find pro car kits, find a way to build themselves essentially a um, kit that includes all the materials needed in order to create, essentially recreate the finish that they saw on the video on their car. So, what you, and ahead. figure out, okay, well, Fonzie dipped the Evo, my car is a much larger car. How much product do I need? Right. Now, um, what you're going to find on the site is essentially video car kits. Mm -hmm. These are different from pro car kits in the sense that in the sense that each individual video will eventually have its own video car kit. So let's use the Triton Porsche, for example. The Triton Porsche right now on dipyourcar.com has its own video car kit. So you find yourself watching the Triton Porsche video, you mm-hmm. click on the link, the annotation, it brings you directly to the Triton video car kit. And there it has a collection of everything that you need in order to recreate what you saw on the video. Right. You simply select the size of your car, small car, full size car, large car slash small truck or large truck slash large SUV. That as you select that variant will d- distinguish how many gallons of each product and how many uh, grams of pearl are in that kit. Mm -hmm. So I'm sitting there and I've got a BMW M5. I see this, oh my God, I would love to do this Triton on my BMW M5. Click the link, here's the Triton video car kit. Mm -hmm. I select the full size car, everything I need is there. I have the option, do you need the DYC sprayer, yes or no? Add that option, throw some dip coat in there, whatever else I need, boom, everything's there and built for you. So essentially we're taking that bridge between new viewer and end user and shortening that bridge together. It's a turnkey way 
to uh, get your kit. I'm going to give myself a shirt that just says hashtag turnkey because <laughs> we use that term so often. You would. Um, so those are the video card kits. I encourage you to browse through them, even if you're a common user and, and somebody who knows the ins and outs of it. Take a look at it because it may give you an idea of how much product we right. used for each individual project. Plus, it's cool to look through some of the – you might look and be like, oh, wow, I remember when you guys did that mm -hmm. car, and then that kit is already built. So right, right. Um, excited for that. And we actually started that with the Plum Crazy we did. video, which I think uh, you're, we're going to talk a little bit about. So that's on there. There's a couple – couple different kits on there currently and we'll obviously always yeah. be building that to kind of what's the date august something yeah, it's definitely <laughs> august something um <laughs> it, as of now there i think are three or four video car kits right. up there it takes some time to build out each one right really fine tune how much product is in each vehicle size variation um, but eventually we're going to start with the most popular mm -hmm. and build them out to where the majority of our video cars have video car kits corresponding with them right right so that's cool. I really like that. It's a project we've been working on for a little bit. Okay. Now, well, the Plum Crazy video, I actually had a couple of questions for you. Uh, mm -hmm. First is, you know, base coats. Uh, I know that muscle car colors, for the most part, you say base coats. You know, there's a lot of variables that play a role in what color you decide yeah. to use as a base coat. And I know we had kind of discussed a little bit about, you know, where you're going to do a white base coat, uh, where you're going to use a black base coat, yeah. where you're going to use a gunmetal gray base coat. Uh, and I know for a lot of those muscle color, muscle car colors, you select white as a base oh, yeah. coat. Why did you decide to go with gunmetal gray? On That's this a good question. One? Um, I would say all muscle car colors in gallon form and aerosol form, uh, by default should be, uh, should have a white base coat. It mm -hmm. just, the coverage on them is very weak. So the white base coat helps them build up coverage and pigment coverage faster and it really helps brighten them mm -hmm. we found through testing though that the plum crazy purple is really the only one out of all of them that has a strong enough pigment coverage um, in order to use a gunmetal gray base coat mm -hmm. and the reason why we choose gunmetal gray is because if we have to throw down a base coat that means you need solid coverage with that base coat well we got solid coverage easy with three three coats of gunmetal we might have needed four with white um because it's a black, it's, uh, old black OEM finish. Uh, yeah. The GTI. The GTI is a yeah. black OEM finish, exactly. So it just helped us get faster coverage with the base coat. Mm -hmm. If you can get away with it, you might as well. So right. uh, we did gunmetal gray, and obviously we wanted to push the envelope a little. We knew we could use white. Mm -hmm. uh, we did speed shape testing and found there's not a lot of difference between the plum crazy over white, gunmetal, or black. Mm -hmm. So we thought gunmetal was right in the middle. I think you're going to find... Um, two things. One, we've noticed that a lot of the colored PDS gowns build uh, pigment coverage faster over a gunmetal gray base. Right. It just gives it something to stick to. And because mm -hmm. gunmetal gray has so such quick coverage, right. you're probably going to find us using a gunmetal gray base coat and a lot more videos moving forward, even when they're not necessary mm -hmm. or required. Okay. All right. And then... Uh why did you decide not to go with the top coat on this one? You know, people have been going crazy over that, that Nardo gray and, yeah. you know, some of these, um, you know, everybody loves that, that top coat. So why, why going back? I know you had kind of made the, uh, the reference in there a little bit about it. Why go back to the mat? Because it, it's, I, I like it. Mm -hmm. I like the mat finishes. It's, it's funny because if Plasti Dip started off glossy, if it started off as single stage gloss and since the beginning of time, Plasti Dip gowns have been glossy. Right. But we weren't able to figure out how to do matte finishes. Everyone would be freaking out about, about matte, matte right. finishes. It would be the coolest thing ever. Mm -hmm. But because it was the reverse, the opposite, and Plasti Dip started off as matte, um, everyone wants, you know, grass is always green on the other side. You want something new. So people are very excited about glossy finishes. I like matte finishes. Mm -hmm. I think that they're much more custom looking um, a matte or satin finish is much more custom looking than a gloss finish. Mm -hmm. It draws a lot more attention for the most part. I know Bennett has been mentioning that in the office. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, it's easier. It's easier to maintain. It, it generally feels better. Um, mm -hmm. A matte finish is a lot drier to the touch. It doesn't have the grippiness to it. Um, it just not every dip job needs to be glossy. Right. There's just no need for it. And I like that. There's a, a, I have a personal car that I'm going to be doing over in the next, at sometime in the next two to three weeks. Um, 
a very high profile car, one we've never done before. And I, I am choosing to do a matte finish on this car. I, I am going after a matte finish. Hmm. I may even be bringing clear PDS into the picture specifically so I can achieve a matte finish. It's an aggressive finish and it shouldn't be overlooked. It shouldn't, right. a matte finish because it's easy and because it's been around for a while should not be given the designation of subpar right just because it's been around right if, at the end of the day when gloss is has been out for a while and and it's just something that's as common as mm -hmm. matt is right now i think you can see a lot of people when they're going for something that's going to go to a car show or something that they really want to stand mm -hmm. out and have that custom look that matter that satin is going to play a bigger role absolutely every once in a while you see whether it be an installer or a d watt do it yourself or uh, dipping their car and they use either the matte finish or I personally love mixing the pearls directly into the PDS after you spray a couple base coats. I saw on the, the forum actually somebody was dipping a motorcycle. Last couple coats of electric lime green, they threw a guana green pearl yeah. into it and it just looked so good. It's got yeah. that matte metallic pearl type of look. It's awesome. You know, take it back to early 2011 before any of this stuff existed. I just got that S4. Mm -hmm. I wanted a matte black S4. Mm -hmm. It was a white car. I wanted a matte black S4. I didn't want a gloss black S4. Right. I didn't want to change my car color to black so I can drive around with an OEM looking black car. I wanted a matte black S4. Mm -hmm. I get the fact that gloss is exciting. I like the fact that gloss is coming right. around and it's, it's all about giving people options. But you'll look at my own personal cars that I drive around. I mean, the Ferrari, not that I personally drive that all over the place. The Ferrari was a satin finish. The SQ5 is a satin finish. Um, this new personal car that I'm going to be doing is going to be a matte finish. The RS6 is a matte finish or satin, satin finish, finish, essentially. Yeah. Um, are those all? The Porsche, the Porsche is a satin finish. Well, that was a light pigment. A light pigment so, low, but I definitely didn't gloss. It right. didn't throw extra gloss in there. I wanted a satin finish. That's my personal preference. Mm -hmm. So uh, I want, I'm bringing Matt back. Hashtag. Go for it. What's, what, what's the hashtag say? <laughs> bringing back, bringing back Matt. Oh, you're the worst. <laughs> Just keep moving. <laughs> uh, all right. So we'll jump to actually another video because uh, we actually haven't, uh, I think recorded since this video went live, but the Nardo Gray video. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's funny that we are hashtag bringing Matt Black and then they're <laughs> just ah. slaughtering <laughs> yeah, everything. I am, I am, I really am. Uh, uh, the uh, the best day ever. Yeah, he's <laughs> cheering. I know Jason Duncan is over there throwing a fist pump. I know uh, who that is now. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Hey, um, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> but it's funny that we're talking talking about matte finishes and then the next conversation that we're going to have is legitimately the glossiest video we've probably ever done one of the yeah uh so even though you're going to be doing some matte finishes are we going to be doing more of those mixing tints directly into the top coat yeah. kind of videos yeah we'll be doing a little bit of everything mm -hmm. you know fortunately for our viewers and everybody else our fans, customers, people who are involved with us. We we don't just do what we want to do. Mm -hmm. We want we do what we want people to do. Right. Um, it's kind of like the same mentality as like the UFC. The UFC, if you're a UFC fan, they don't put fights on uh, based on merit. Mm -hmm. They put the fights on that people want to see. Right. They make right. fights based on what viewers want to see. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not gonna just not do something because i don't like it. i mean there's cars that we've done excuse me that i personally don't like the end result of them that much as for, and when i say i don't like it i appreciate it for what it is mm -hmm. it may not be a color i'd want on my own personal right, car right but um yeah we're gonna do more of that single stage gloss stuff mm -hmm. um i know we did some more testing with it i know that light blue standard light blue plastic dip um light blue base light blue tint directly into gloss um pop that on with a gloss top coat looks amazing yellow looks amazing uh right now we're really kind of restricted to doing it with the colors that we have with the plasti dip tints mm -hmm. black white uh light blue yellow and red so you'll probably see us do at least all those eventually mm -hmm. black for sure um you know it, it's a fun little project it's super easy too like mm -hmm. the, the light blue you put three coats of light blue down 
standard PDS. You drop light blue tint in a top coat. It's an immediate color match. Right. So you throw, you know, a couple coats over that, and then one finishing coat of gloss, and you've got a really freaking glossy, solid light blue car. And it's cool too, because because of the tints, yeah, you you're boxed into like you know those those five colors. Yeah. But tints are meant to make your own type of color so sure you can mix match and absolutely darker blue i mean that's what blues, nardo baby blue. nardo gray it, our version was 100 percent. so you start with that that grouping of five and then you kind of branch out from right there. but right. i got a solution for that anyway down the road enough <laughs> said uh, thoughts what hashtag enough said yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh thoughts I don't, I don't know. I'm interested to see what's coming down the line. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Good thought. And the best part about this is that some people like will will PM me or something and they'll say, oh, I call customer service and ask them about Cali gallons. And I really wish people wouldn't lie to me or, people, you know, there's a reason why certain people in the company are not told certain things right so that you guys don't have to lie on the phone right i'd rather you not know all the ins and outs of everything so that when people call you and ask you stuff that you have to lie to them oh yeah it's and better that you just don't know people people ask me that all the time they'll be like oh well come on you know you know when's the next sale and, and i tell them legitimately you don't let us know until the night before right right before we leave the office or that morning hey listen new product you know here's a little bit of a rundown on you know the ins and outs and we kind of get together and, mm -hmm. and discuss those things but before that we don't know right. and, and it's, it's better, better that way it is because a lot of things don't pan out right sometimes i work on something i think it's going to be the next hot thing out and maybe it doesn't work maybe pricing can't be put on point maybe raw materials aren't there maybe whatever the reason i'm not going to get people excited about things start talking that's why you know from a teaser point of view you're not going to see me talk about stuff, tease stuff, put pictures up, unless I know mm -hmm. it's happening. Right. I'm not going to put something up and then six months later, it just doesn't exist. Right. You know, you may think that would have been the case with these California gallons, but you haven't seen me put up anything really. I mean, I don't even, right. I've sprayed two whole cars in uh, the California formula. I don't think I've put a single picture up of them. No. Nope. Or maybe I have. Oh. You just didn't know it. Oh. But anyway, you know. <laughs> whatever that topic was i think it's over okay uh well we have talked a little bit about the last couple of videos that we've done and i noticed that a lot of the comments on the youtube channel and the facebook forums and mm -hmm. just our personal you know dyc page uh they've been talking about there's a buzz about how much better the videos look yeah and you've mentioned that you know we got some new we upgraded the whole rig yeah. we were using the same video camera for over three years it was a sony nx cam it filmed in 1080p but by golly was there room for improvement right so we went out we, we spoke to some experts and uh we have a really good uh video team that we we work with from time to time and um we ended up upgrading from like this end of the spectrum to this end of the spectrum and you can see that in the last three videos we did the nardo gray uh spray cans. the spray can spray your whole car with cans even though that's just indoors and then the even the uh the, the plum crazy right. gti and i mean the best feeling in the world is making that kind of investment move you know learning the equipment moving into that equipment range and then seeing the feedback right unsolicited not saying guys this is new a Fonzo from different car we did this video and new right. you know seeing those youtube comments come in what the hell did you guys do it looks so right. much better because now we're filming in like 1080p um like tr like very high-end stuff I, mm -hmm. I don't even know all the, the, the stuff but i know it's like uh it, it's about as good as you can physically get without go without doing 4k and the camera is capable of 4k but we're not moving into 4k for youtube at this point right, until right. youtube's a little bit more compatible with it um but yeah man i mean even this video now is um is done with the new setup and basically what what you can do is just take a screenshot of this dip cast put it up against a screenshot of the last dip cast as long as you're on the highest quality level available um i did that in a couple of our videos especially mm -hmm. like the intro the intro for each video in the in the back of the shop is done essentially in the same spot with the same right. lighting right and if you take screenshots of that versus the other the older videos mm -hmm. there's details there's stuff you can read that you couldn't before the crisp the, there's depth in perspective and 
really, really happy we made that move. It should have been done a, a long time ago, but I'm glad that because we waited so long to do it, that we took that big jump. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't wait three years and take a skip. Right. You take a leap, mm -hmm. and that's what we did. Cool. Hopefully, it's a better viewing experience for everybody. Yeah, absolutely. I don't think I don't see how it not couldn't be. Um, all right, last thing I believe that we're going to <laughs> talk about is uh, showcase shadows. Is that it? We're I, about to I, showcase I mean, shadows? yeah. I think we wanted to make this a quick episode, just a, a little. Well, I mean, I'm not saying that we're ahead of schedule. I'm just saying um, that went fast. I mean, we got to beat that hurricane. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness gracious. Okay, first one. Um, and I've got six of them, I think. Uh, first one is our buddy Benny. He's got a, a really cool mix. Burnt copper alloy with Phoenix color shift mm, yeah, on an okay. Acura TL. Very metallic and just enough of that hint where you can see some shifting. Like when you when the light hits the certain fender flares in different areas of the bumper, right. you can see that rose come in. Really, really cool job. Uh, you should be proud of that one. I yeah, like that one a lot. Phoenix is a color that we don't see too often. And I yeah, really right. think that... that that color shift looks great. Very sweet. Uh, our boy, Jer Pippen. Yes. Dude's yep. been around for a long time. I like that guy. Um, he did on his Jeep. Nice guy. Uh, very nice guy. Good dude. Uh, Night KP's Nighthawk Black Pearl mm -hmm. in clear PDS over black PDS base. And it is just a jet black, satin black looking car. Um, it looks awesome. Very, very dark, deep satin finish i like this one and another one for a very specific reason because they're bringing in clear pds to use with pearls to bring back to that matte look now love let's love that for example you throw clear pds in on certain pearls mm -hmm. and you're going to be hurting yourself a bit nighthawk black's not one of them right. it doesn't require a ton of clarity but when you're talking about something like nordic color shift right. or flash color right. shift something that needs that clarity if you're gonna if you want to go with with a matte finish and you don't want the satin of the dip your car top coat mix at least a 50 50 of clear pds and dip your car top coat hmm. so you can give yourself some of that clarity it'll help out a lot All right. um next one and i shouldn't have even pulled this up on the computer because it's <laughs> going to burn out all the pixels on my screen our boy jeremy roars from pearls and pigments authorized dip your car installer down in houston texas does this insanely bright vibrant mm -hmm. um bold uh you want an adjective you want to throw something in there <laughs> you took them all yeah well i didn't but <laughs> it's this mustang with this incredible custom green yeah in dip your car top coat um this is and this is a worked ass car too. There's a lot going on with it. I don't know the details on on the motor and everything, but this is an angry, angry Mustang. It's um, it's one of those ones where it it deserves and earned the right to be this bright. Right. Um. He's been doing some crazy bright colors. Ab oh, he's the king of bright colors. I mean, let's just say it. I'm gonna say it. He's do the it. king of bright colors. <laughs> that guy throws the brightest. He's not afraid. That's why. Right. Oh, you want to do uh. Firebelly orange with team orange. Yeah, whatever. Let's do it. You want to do monster green and whatever? Eh, let's do it. You know what I mean? He just throws these flashlight right. colors at you that you can barely even stare at him. And the attention to detail where he's doing jams and all that he's kind of all, stuff. He's all past that now. I mean, he's he's in a whole other world. There's a group of guys and potentially girls. There's a group of dippers that have just moved into this little niche area. Um, very, very qualified, very experienced. And this is exactly a, a great example of it. Really cool job. Um, again, down in Houston, Texas. Um, another Dip Your Car authorized, authorized installer, Landrix Customs in Massachusetts, mm -hmm. knocked out this sick uh, light blue, um, custom blue uh, C-Class Mercedes with the DYC top coat. One of the glossier cars, man, of this year. I'll tell you what. This guy really hit this one home. He even he put pictures up of the, of his dog, the reflection of mm -hmm. his dog in the mm -hmm. in the door panels. Um, I don't know, man. You look at that and you you scroll through pictures on the internet, and that that's gonna look OEM that's all day long, beat. all day long. It's gonna look factory. So those guys, I mean, what? I must have saw three or four sick. Dip jobs from Richard and oh, the guys yeah, over at Landrix in the past couple of weeks. It was actually hard to pick. He showcased shout out mm -hmm. hashtags, a bunch of them. Um, that dude works hard. Uh, he and he's proud of his stuff. It, very, very good. 
Very, very good. And it's hard, too, because I don't want to keep having re repeat guys on showcase shoutouts or at least cycling through with some time. Right. But, you know, when you put up stuff like that, when it's hard not run, to do it. Run. Absolutely. Um, next one, uh, Matthew Shanks. I like this one. It's it's uh this is Nebula Purple in a mix of uh Matt Clear PDS and Dip Your Car Top Coat, exactly like I was saying. Mm -hmm. It's got some sheen to it. It's still I would be think it would be considered a matte. It might be closer to a satin. Um, but this is Nebula Blue, and this is on a Volkswagen Corrado, I believe. And this is like Jared, our media manager, is gonna really love. He likes weird cars like this. Um, but I bet you he'd rock that all day long. Um, and then we've got uh, our buddy TJ. He did uh, KP Pigments Secure Red over a black base coat with DYC top coat on this Corvette. Mm -hmm. um, looks very cool. Really, really sweet. Um, and then last but not least, very quick shout out guy that gets a lot of airtime on this show is uh, Lon London uh, from Dip Hawaii, authorized installer out in, of course, Hawaii. Did a really awesome set of these custom gold wheels yeah, that's, using this crazy the dip your car dip pearl um uh pure gold alloy right. with dyc top coat he does this custom lace uh inside the lip mm -hmm. stuff that like i look at that and I, res I there's an immediate amount of respect that goes into it because i know i wouldn't do it right i wouldn't put the time into it the attention and detail i don't have that type of a virtue um so i mean that guy gets enough shout outs all day long but you put out a project like that and uh, really cool job he did he does great he, and he loves it too mm -hmm. he loves it so those are our showcase shout outs of the day of the week of the week well the day too yeah well i wasn't correcting it. i was just kind of uh, yeah building no, adding to it yeah um you missed something yeah i figured you know we wanted it's to your segment <laughs> you missed your own segment Oh, you're oh, right. Come oh, come on. You know, it, you, next week you sit there and you sit there. <laughs> they love that. What do they love? They would love that. But only if it's the same format where you continue you continue uh, to I, have the same dynamic. I talk, but I'm just over there sitting there. <laughs> All you have to do is sit there and play <laughs> yeah. Candy Crush? There you go. Do you want to do your segment? I, I think uh, I think we should put a poll up for that or something. Do whatever you want. Um, <laughs> well, that, all right. We've got. To, do you want to cover your, your uh, new segment? I mean, you yeah, really sure. pushed for it. Yeah, you're right. Do, do, you're do, right. Do, do, do. The uh, DYC quick tip of the week. There it is. <laughs> What's the tip? Um, well, you know, we get a decent amount of calls about this, and mm -hmm. I know we've talked about it probably on the way back when we were just doing audio episodes. But clogging cans uh, sometimes seems to be an issue, uh, and how you know it's really quick how to fix that issue. If you're running into that problem, uh, I mean, do you want me to take? I mean, you you're more than welcome to. I'll give you my opinion, and then okay. you can add okay. to it or correct I'll, me. I'll I'll figure out. You know, I'll fill in the. Place. You're gonna figure a couple of things out. There. <laughs> um, it's it it really depends on on what the life of the can is. If it's one that you've been using a lot, um, chances are you need to either purge it, which means you turn it upside down, spray it until it sprays clear, mm -hmm. shake it up really well, and then it should clear it out. If right. the nozzle itself is clear, is clogged, then uh, one of the easiest things to do is take a rag and dip it into a solvent like a xylene or a naphtha or a toluene. And when you dip it into that, then you clean the nozzle with that saturated rag, and that's going to dissolve anything that's on mm -hmm. there. Um, and it should break anything up that's blocking the nozzle uh, you can always try to dunk it in hot water for a little bit um you know other than that you know you're pretty much going to call customer service to dip your car and talk to adam yeah you, and he'll you, tell you this i was gonna say you missed a big one uh my favorite one is this we see this a lot when people are dipping their wheels and they decide to take the wheels off the car mm -hmm. <laughs> you think i didn't set you up for this one come on dude you, you gotta make sure you spray out there it is not down. absolutely uh, and let me just say something um <laughs> there's a reason why we teed that up because adam had been in one dip your car video and if you haven't seen it yet don't tell him which one it is <laughs> why because we could add it to the uh the uh dyc trivia i'm gonna say it <laughs> the silver metalizer video if, uh, I'm going to say this, um, and I'm, this might be a disaster, but if I can <laughs> add a clip of it at the end of this, I will. Mm -hmm. If I can't, well, you're not going <laughs> to see just, it. You just, just find your way the to the silver, silver metal. Go to the Dip Your Car YouTube channel, 
put in the search box silver metalizer and you will find adam's video debut (laughs) from 2012 i was not very comfortable on screen (laughs) you nailed it but um your biggest line well, they'll see it. Right. But right. Hence and, hence that. And I was wearing quite the throwback t shirt. Well, it was a t shirt with a decal stuck to it. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Anyway, we'll figure out a way to work that in somehow. Um, but yeah, your famous shoot out, not down. <laughs> but we'll get that all I think set I just up. Spit. Hopefully well, the new camera gets that. <laughs> well, it is uh, high resolution. So other than that, it's been a fun episode for sure. And I know we have an interesting one coming up next week. So Get your showcase shout outs tagged out there so we can easily find them and give you a little bit of love uh, for Adam and Dan, who may even be sitting in the co pilot seat next you week. You never know. We do. <laughs> we'll check on the next episode. I can't wait to play Candy Crush. <laughs> okay, guys, we've got our uh, wheel here. It's got two coats of the matte black original Plasti Dip. Uh, we've got our silver metalizer here and the spray trigger that we've been using for our projects. And what we're going to do is we're going to take it through one coat at a time. We're going to do our first light coat, which is just going to give you a black wheel with a silver kind of a metal flake to it, which has been real popular. And then we're going to take uh, the three or four or five coats all the way up to that solid fi- uh, silver finish. Guys, it's real important to prop your wheel upright because um, instead of having the wheel flat on the floor, because when you're spraying, you want to make sure that you're spraying out, not down. We're going to put our first coat of the silver metalizer on. Now this.